by Mineral Leaf. The Story of Ferdinand by Mineral Leaf and illustrated by Robert Lawson. Once upon a time in Spain, there was a little bull and his name was Ferdinand. All the other little bulls he would lift would run and jump and butt their heads together, but not Ferdinand. He liked to just sit quietly and smell the flowers. He had a favorite spot out in the pasture under a cork tree. It was his favorite tree and he would sit in its shade all day and smell the flowers. Sometimes his mother, who was a cow, would worry about him. She, she was afraid he would be lonesome all by himself. Why don't you run and play with other little bulls and skip and butt your heads? And she would say, but Ferdinand shake his head. Shake his head. I like it here better. I like it better here where I can sit quietly and smell the flowers when I can sit just quietly and smell the flowers. His, his mother who was a, his mother saw that he was not lonesome and because she was an understanding mother, even thought she was a cow, she let him just sit there and be happy. As the years went by, Ferdinand grew and grew until he was very big and strong. All the other bulls who had grown up with him at, in the same pasture would fight each other all day. They would butt each other and stick each other with horn, with their horns. Why they wanted the most, most of all was to pick to fight at the bullfights in Madrid. But not Ferdinand. He still liked to sit just quietly under the cork tree and smell the flowers. One day, a five man came in a very funny hat to pick the, the, the biggest, fastest, roughest bull to, the, to fight in the, in the bullfights in Madrid. All the other bulls ran around snorting and butting and leaping and jumping so the man would think they that they were very, very strong and fierce and picked them. <coughs> Ferdinand knew that they wouldn't pick him and he didn't care, so he went he went out to his favorite cork tree to sit down. He, he didn't look where he was sitting in the nice, instead of a, sitting on the nice, cool grass in the shade, he sat on, on a bumblebee. <sighs> well, if you were a bumblebee and, the, and a bull sat y on you, what do you do? You would sting him, and that is what this bee does. Did to Ferdinand. Wow, did it hurt? Ferdinand jumped with a snore. He ran around puffing and snorting and buffing and pawing ground as if he were crazy.